In adulthood, Carl Sagan became an essential figure in modern scientific thought. His career took off like a comet, participating in some of the most ambitious projects in space exploration. He was a leading advisor to NASA on historic missions such as Mariner, Viking, Voyager, and Galileo. His vision helped design experiments to detect life on Mars and interpret data sent back by probes traveling beyond the limits of the solar system. One of his most iconic achievements was the Voyager probe Golden Record, an interstellar time capsule with sounds and images of Earth intended for potential extraterrestrial civilizations. It was his idea to include greetings in dozens of languages, music by Bach and Chuck Berry, images of everyday life, and even a recording of the brainwaves of a person in love, his own, and Drew Yen, his partner in life and ideas. But Sagan didn't stop at the laboratory. With his television series Cosmos, a personal voyage, released in 1980, he brought science into millions of homes around the world. His way of communicating was unique, poetic, passionate, accessible. With phrases like, we are stardust, he touched the souls of generations. His book The Dragons of Eden won the Pulitzer Prize, and his novel Contact was made into a film starring Jodie Foster. He was also a staunch advocate of critical thinking, peace, and planetary responsibility. He bravely warned about the dangers of climate change, nuclear war, and irrational fanaticism. His voice was the voice of reason in an increasingly complex and polarized world. Carl Sagan wasn't just a brilliant scientist. He was a bridge between knowledge and emotion, between what we know and what we still dream of discovering. A true pioneer of the cosmos, he challenged the limits of human understanding with passion, rigor, and poetry.